This is an era of dark chamber of my beloved nation. The years of the sleepless nights and the grieving moments of her citizens. In reference to the tragedies the innocent people went through for 22 years of dictatorship, for 22 years of brutality, the acts of atrocity, disability of physical integrity, massacre of unlawful activities, where the freedom fighters who stood against injustice for every living citizen to have the freedom and place for any expression were inhumanly treated and persecuted. The complicit of enforced disappearance, persecution of journalists who were educating the public about the regime corruption of justice were prosecuted, labeling them the illegitimate sons of Africa after being assassinated. The innocent students were tortured, bladed and littered with gunfires. I mean they were brutally pelted with the blast of the gun in April 10 and April 11, depriving them from protesting and fighting for their freedom of expression apprehending their basic rights as citizens of the nation. This is really a sad situation to see an unborn woman being gone down in November 11, keeping and killing the innocent lives, putting them in the great situation, making us believe it was natural death, not knowing it was the responsibility of those unlawful killers of people aimed at curtailing the plights and liberty of every individual in our society. Dolla Kordal Fale Boeta, Kadun, Baba Leilo Banda, Nafala Furiata, Marin in Kotol Yemanta, Dokon in Signor Kumboda, screaming and grieving because of the unfair pain they have been feeling for the demise of their families. It is really heartbroken when we say truth shall set those people free, and the people of the victims are not giving anything free to at least make them have the peace of mind to live in peace after everybody in the family was murdered in cold blood. This is a tragedy in which one can be forgiven but cannot be easily forgotten. To all the victims that are murdered in cold blood, rest in perfect peace and may Allah have mercy on your soul. My condolence to the families and my sympathy to the victims. It is so sad that we have been in this darkness for so long with so many terrible things without any justice at all. And now initiate a commission investigated the crimes committed. And what we are pleading in this day and age is for justice to come into existence for all. Justice delayed is justice denied. So let justice be done for peace to reign like a rain. Let it prevail since the world truth about the brutal acts they have been battling against throughout the sleepless night has been revealed to release the pains out of the veins. Nyantoli Sabati for peace and justice to persist for all that we have deserved again. Oh sons and daughters of Mama Land. Our future is in our hands. I believe we can advocate justice and stabilize peace in our motherland to create never never land and learn never to allow killers, rapists and tribalists into our hands to land on our motherland and say never again. We claim to face the truth, reconciliation and reparation commission mandated to investigate and examine the historical legacy of social meaning of killing, raping, torturing and consequence of these tragedies. Reconcile and grant reparation for the victims. In such simple lona bankola kairo na la tankola, kadun sino meta mambo kujama la kalamato. Oto na wili na nyaku phone se bini sinin jeno. Minke to kunun kana song ay soto na kodenga. With the best of our capacity to protect the denizens against any form of atrocity, as our priority to reinforce peace and security of justice against injustice for every living citizen in our country. Justice is what we need. And for justice to be done, it must be seen. So let it be seen to fade away the pains for peace of mind to remain as we deserve to give. Let us not put off until tomorrow what we can do today. Because time and time wait for no man's right. Then let us hurry or else we will miss the flight. The Ture, the intellectual.